and say, I'm just going to stop asking questions. Mm. Because I'm like, this isn't, it, this isn't showing respect to, to Allah or yeah, God yeah, exactly. or, or, or Hashem or... Um, I, I think, in fact, the same thing God actually said in the Quran. When He created us and He given us the restricted free will, and he said, La yus al amma yaf'aluhum yus'alun. You cannot question what he is going to do, but rather you will be questioned. Do you see my point? Sure. So I agree. Right. So, so, so here's mine. Sure. If, if I ask and say, like, luckily we don't have to talk about if there is a God and one God. Well, done. Somebody created all this. You're a moron. Like, I want to sell you a motorcycle if you believe that they make themselves. Yeah, yeah. Just tell you how I can make one, and you're going to go, do it and I'll go oh. like scientists yeah, yeah. can't make a protein they can't make a living cell mm. they can't do one thing they just talk and I'm like yeah I, I, I can't so there is obviously a God so we start with there's a God luckily so after that and we were all we are his creations he created the universe now I ask anybody okay where's the edge of the universe and they go I don't know, so, so don't act like you can, if you can't even tell me where the edge of his creation is, don't tell me about, don't, you don't know everything about the creator. You know some things, and I want to hear. On that line, something God mentioned in the Quran, that Allah said, that I did not let you see the creation of the heavens and the earth, neither I let you see your own creation. So that's two creation about you and the creation of the heavens and the earth. None of us, he made us witness. If he made us witness, then we would already know. Yeah, yeah. So this Agreed. is exactly. Agreed. So Agreed. that's solve your question. Ninety-nine percent we're going to agree on, and I go. Well, I mentioned the Quran. Yeah. So, so I'm like, that, that's fine, and, and I'm, I agree. Yeah. And I go look. God's ways are here. Our ways are here. Yeah. So I'm like, so the, all we can do is find out what we agree on. Yeah. And so we can agree, and we just have to decide and go. Okay, we can agree. For example, this is my my, my new religion. Meaning, the most expansive to me is Islam. Because they'll actually admit, Moses, Islam, uh, Adam, Abraham, I'm like, oh, okay, good. How, how about the attribute of God? How do you see the attribute of God? Okay, this is good. Because I'm, I'm going there, because you kind, of, you kind of have an understanding of very Islamic notion in terms of believing God. That's what I am seeing yeah, from you. everybody tells me that. Yeah. So, so, like, so, for example, like, in order to know the correct religion on the correct way, we must put to the test the attribute of God, yeah, the, which is I, I which is where all the religions are different. Yeah, I'd say the, the characteristics, perfections, and attributes of Allah, of God. Like you have to know what's what's Allah like, and, and right? Mm. I, I'm, are we on the same? Yeah. Okay. Is so that, that's two ways to know that. First of all, rationally we know by looking at the creation. But someone, if let's say someone doesn't have the revelation, but at least he can reflect on the creation of the heavens and the earth and say look if the creation is so big the creator must be beyond our imagination yes. right yeah Great. now Great. the second understanding is through the revelation allah said badi samawati wal ard he is the originator of the heavens and the earth so here where he was referring that in one point the universe what didn't exist so he made in universe into existence yeah then he was telling he was the alone creator of the universe then he was referring he was alone the maintainer of the universe okay. now if he is alone maintainer of the universe if he is alone the originator of the universe that no that means no one is with him when he created the universe Good. do you follow Good. that right Good. now now he is applying his will now from now now his okay. application of his will okay. what is his will he said, Inna Allah yaf'alu ma yasha. Whatever he will see, he does it. He doesn't yeah. need to ask you what he wanted Agreed. to do with you. Agreed. And, right. and we can go back to your original thing, yeah. which is, just look at the earth. Yes. He lets that guy talk and those guys, he, yeah. and he lets people kill people, uh -huh. he lets people hurt babies. Mm. He lets, God is freedom. Allah no. gives freedom, like, go, let's see who you are. Now, now his will. Are. Now, Good. hear us what in his will say. He said, I have created you to test you. Okay. Absolutely. Now test and to see this what is, you who you are. Who you are, right? Okay. Exactly. Whether because he has given you that choice of free will, to you can exercise it in a limited way. Yeah. Because I mean our choice, I mean our free will is not like unlimited. It's limited. Yeah, it's only limited. Yeah, like for example, I wanted to fly through through that tree, but I cannot. Yeah. Oh, well, this you is can restricted. A, you can get a 
a paraglider, I, I, uh, a, a wing, or yeah, a, yeah. a helicopter. Yeah, you can you can within the rules that he's created. Yeah, yeah, within yeah, the rules. rules. Yeah. Which rules we don't totally understand. Look, nice coat, brother. You got it. That's smart. So, okay, so yeah. So he, he he said he was gonna test you, but in order to test you, he must give you an instruction. Otherwise, how can he test you? Yeah, it's not fair. Right. It's so not fair. well, but but again, so let's stop right there. Well, no, no, no. Finish, because like, I, okay. I, I have questions. So uh, tell this, me when you want questions. Yeah. So, he decided he's going to test us. Okay. And then, in order to test us, he made us in such a way that we are ask, ready for I the test. Ask. But he doesn't need to test us because he doesn't know. It's because we don't know. Correct. He, yes, God exactly. already Correct. knows. Correct. So, so, our test is simply to teach us things. Oh, yeah. Are we on the camera? So, test is so that someone can be rewarded huh? and someone can be punished based on their deeds, belief, and action. Well, and that would be natural, right? And they can't Correct. complain right. about if, it because they're yeah, if you're, if you're evil, you're evil. If you're good, you're good. And good things, it's just natural laws. I mean, yeah. things, you, if you jump off a cliff, you fall. Like, yeah. you drop that cup, it's dropped. Natural yeah. laws, God is just, so part of his attributes is he's fair. Freedom, God gives us freedom. Allah gives us, lets us do what we want to do. And if we want to fly through yeah, the trees, so. we have to build a helicopter, right? We have to do his laws. And two... He's testing us, but not so that Allah knows, but so that we know. Because huh. he, he holds the past, present, and future knowledge. Okay. And we yes. are, we forgot about the past, we are unaware about the present, and we do not know what will happen in the future. You have to face the camera. I'll stand uh, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't sure matter. Yeah, I mean, is it YouTube or something? I'll let the, you guys. The, the, the importance here is you, yeah. because we are talking to you, yeah. and we are sharing the message of Islam to you. Yeah. In a rational manner, that yes, maybe you. not yelling at me. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, he's been doing a good job. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so now you know. Like, now we establish that test, and we are subject to test based on our makeup, because our makeup tells us that we are subject to test. Yeah. We are. We didn't created us like an angel. Angel, they never disobey God. They always act upon God's command. This is how God created angel. Okay. So, so, so that's the distinguish between. So Angel and yes, sure, sentence, sure, but, sure. So, because God, so in the when God creates, yeah, uh -huh. He creates everything. Did He create the jinn? He did. Okay. Then did He create? Um, so He created jinn. He created angels like Jibril. He created Adam. He, Adam, yeah. So when He died, like before He was born on Earth. Did God know? Did, did Allah know him? Okay, first of all, let's go back to uh, your question. All of the creation in the heavens and the earth, like all of the human beings and the jinn, they were all existed in a soul form before we came to this world. Okay, They're so, all created. So, all, so soul form? Soul form was created. And in the Quran, Allah mentioned that when he created all the soul and asked, Alas to be Rabbikum, am I not your Lord? Meaning he asking, the soul that question that am i not your god am i not your lord yeah, so sure. so so the, all of the soul responded by saying yes you are palu bala shahidna they witness and they sure. affirm that you are our lord Good, yeah. now it is divine it is will that he gonna let us forget that and send it to this universe so that he can test us so 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 that we can know not so that he can no he already knows everything okay, so number one how long ago was that I mean, th there is no exact time we have. But but Allah, even though He created it, so I, I mean, we're going to both agree that time is kind of just for us. God, He doesn't have time. Yeah. Time is a creation of so, Allah. So, right, right. So, and, and really just for us because... I mean, He, he mentioned, so be basically, all of those things, unseen matter, we only speak based on what He revealed to us. Yes. And yeah. the things we do not know, we say Allah means Allah knows best. Yeah. It's not necessary. He revealed only things that are necessary for us. Okay. Now, even if we know, let's say, one million years ago, it doesn't matter, make us our well, way of thinking will change, you know? Well, or maybe, the question maybe. will this change. Is, this what mine is, is if I have those thoughts, I am now responsible. If, if, if yeah. this person on the ride doesn't yeah. care and doesn't know, they're not responsible. Yeah. But if I have those thoughts, now when I get in front of Allah, I'm going to be responsible. Yeah. So, so I have to... So I have to ask those questions to say, okay, so so there's a there's a twist here. 
has has Allah made other worlds? Is this his only time, or is it no? I I, I the think whole I, I think for camera, I'm gonna say something oh, here. Okay. <laughs> there are scholars of differ. There was another kind before the jinn kind. So it's called Wahin wa Bin. They existed before the creation of this universe. But that's God's too. Allah did that too. Yes, Allah okay. did that too. Okay, so good. so Ibn Qasir, the, the reference is called Al Bidaya wa Nihaya. He mentioned that. The Heen was being this group existed before, and Iblis he was existed before. I love this. So, so, so he made this universe and this thing. Yeah, this is for us test Quran. Okay, don't touch it. Sorry, pa. Oh. oh, no drunk people. Okay, maybe if you're an attractive woman, but no drunk guys. So. Name this is a, yeah. Name's lost name yeah. Was Mr. yeah. I mean, I'm not going. This okay. will be a long discussion anyway. So, <laughs> okay. so, so the basically there was creation before existed, as the hints of that mentioned in Al Bidayah wa Nihaya by Ibn Qasir, which is a famous book in Islam. Basically, it's beginning to end. All of the stories, basically, of the creation, stories of the creation, stories of the prophet. So uh, I think Ashik. Should, should I just stand here? I'll stand here. <laughs> It's your channel. I'll just stand here so you. Can you move it here because they are keep coming no, here. Should... Come, sorry, come here. <coughs> yeah, I think it's better. Put these guys back here. These pretty faces, not everybody. Okay. Okay, so got you were at. God created everything. Yeah. But before this everything that we know, because we only see with yeah. we only see the colors of the rainbow. Yeah. We don't see X rays or gamma rays or no. or, or ultraviolet or infrared. Yeah. yeah. We only see so much yeah. but that doesn't mean that that's all that exists. Yes. There's more things existing uh -huh. and everything we can think of and everything we can imagine God already knows. Yeah. And so but there is even something before that you're saying. Yeah. I mean Allah mentioned in the Quran the Sabbah Lillahi Ma Fis Samawati Wal Ard. Everything in the heavens and the earth glorifies Him. When He's talking about everything, it is mean animate and non-animate object. Even the stone, even the statues, sure. all of the things. Everything we perceive. A yeah, everything. But including living, non-living, everything that exists, rays, everything that exists, they that all glorify God. Okay. Yes. But we do not perceive based on our limited abilities. Sure. Right. So it's and, not and about. We perceive more every year. Science will discover yeah. something. Go. Oh yeah. It's not 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 new to God, but it's new to us. But, but okay. the important thing is God is asking us to contemplate on the creation of the heavens and the earth. Yes, that's what we're doing. Yeah. This is what important. This is what the crux of the matter is for us. Okay. We need to reflect upon the creation of the heavens and the earth, yeah. and come to a conclusion that who created us, where am I going, yes. what is the meaning of all this. Yes. So. This existential question, we can uh, apply two things together to come to know. Okay. One called rationality and another called revelation. Okay. Rationality so, and, and revelation. revelation. Okay. So when our rationality indicate that we need to have a proper guide to know what, why he has created us. And then you can say, okay, I agree in this proposition, but I need to know whether this carrier of the message or the messenger are speaking the truth or are the liar. Or how can I be sure that he is indeed, or these are the groups of people are indeed the communicator between us and God. Okay, yeah. Good. So now this is where we say, okay, let's understand this. Allah define our purpose, that he will wish, he will, he will test us. But how will test us? What would be our test? Yeah. That we must know from the revelation. Well, everybody's different, right? Like yeah. everybody has a different life, yeah. so everybody has a yeah. different test. But we're all tested in basically the same thing. Yeah. Lust, well, fear and love, right? Yeah. I mean, you're either scared how you behave when you're fearful, how you behave, lust, stuff like that, right? You you actually uh, touched a very important principle of Islam. What's, what's very principle of Islam in worship in Islam, we told us that we should either fearful of Allah. Some people worship Allah because they are fearful. Some people they they were so pleased with the glory of Allah they worship Allah yes. some people worship because they wanted to go paradise yeah. some people worship they don't want to go to hellfire yeah. some people worship because of the blessing and 
so all of the things entails worship yeah so whoever has that understanding he has a totality of understanding of the worship aspect of it. Okay. i'm glad that you touched it but you didn't know True. yeah no, this is no, an I, important I, I, facet no. of, of islamic worship to understanding on a different angle of worship for okay. example sometimes we praise someone but he doesn't do anything for us yeah right say for example we we praise a prophet a, a poet yeah. he done a fantastic poetry but we praise him but it doesn't benefit us yeah Right? So this idea of glorification within ourselves without even revelation. So that means it is intrinsic nature we should glorify. Now should we glorify the creation or yeah. should we glorify the creator? That's the biggest question. Man to look and to make correct, correct. Stars or to, to, to worship. Yeah. To and then, something is greater than me. Yeah. Okay. And that's why God given two angles to reflect. First angle, Allah said, Sanurihim ayatina fil afaqi wa fi anfusim. Hatta yatabayyana lawda. I have shown the sign in the horizon and within yourself. Okay. So, if someone is busy thinking of himself, he should look outside of the creation. Look at the sun, look at the moon, okay. the rotation of the sun and the moon, and the how night turning into day, the day into night. Mm -hmm. And how all these natural phenomena are working, sure. the sun, the rain, all of the things we are witnessing. So Allah is... Everything testifies yes. that there is Allah. Yes. Okay. So these, these are the sign of God because we cannot see God. Right. right. And Allah right. said, No vision can grasp God. Meaning, it doesn't mean that God doesn't exist. It is meaning our eyesight is restricted to see Him. Because I can see sure. as far sure. as... Yeah? yeah, we get that. So, yeah. so there's God. So let's talk about the creation. Yeah. So he creates. Uh, so he exists, but he's he's something. So I'm yeah. trying to figure what's there. there. There's that. There's angels, Jibril, and and, 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 and other angels as well. Other, other angels. Angel, yes. So Jibril and other angels. So yeah. there's Allah. There's angels. Uh -huh. There are uh, jinn. And jinn are bad angels or, or no, just no, bad no, souls. No, this is a different no, they will be tested like us. So they, there are like if they're good. I mean, if they do a good job, so bad or just bad like job just like bad? Muslim, yeah. just like Muslim who have good and bad, within them they have also good and bad. Okay, so jinn it's are not like bad. Though. Fallen angels. It's not Christian. No, no, no. It's exactly. Like, Correct. Yeah. yeah okay, you're so, right. so for the for the teaching, they're not fallen angels, but they are evil. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, they, 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 they okay, just jinn, like us. Jinn are not I inherently evil. They're just. Are they souls? No, like, they, 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 no, they have something similar to us, okay. which is the free will. They ah, can either okay. choose to worship God or choose to disobey God. Jinn have free will, but so they that's don't why have bodies. That, no, they, they so don't have the body. Souls. Not like us. Not, not like us, not like us. So that's why God said in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِعْبُدُ okay. I have not created jinn or mankind other than to worship me. Okay, because no. angel, these are inherent nature and, to worship God. And, and so, are gonna do it anyway. so, okay. so jinn kind and mankind will be tested. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent directly also for jinn kind as a messenger of God. Okay, because so, Quran, you Quran, can you see jinn? You huh? can't see jinn. No, you cannot see jinn. We they're are restricted. Yeah, no, they're, they're here, but they're all mm, around us now. Of so, course. So, but they're real. They were created. They're being tested by yeah. Allah. But they, there is they a, have free will. Interesting, there is a chapter in the Quran, it's called Jinn. Jinn. Yeah, so okay. they heard the Quran, recitation of the Quran, meaning they understood the guidance. And if you look at the Sirah, which is the biography okay. of the Prophet, there are some uniqueness of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And one of the uniqueness is he was sent for jinn. everyone, like, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِ He was sent for everyone, the mankind, including okay. the jinn kind as well. So, Muhammad. Muhammad. Okay. And if you look at all other prophets before, they were sent for their own nation. But he is someone who has fulfilled the mission of God, meaning the fulfilled of messengership of God in this earth. And he was sent for everyone. Okay. Now, Prophet Muhammad came and told us the same information that was informed by other messenger before. Okay. When Abraham came to this universe, he asked people to worship there is only one God. And all of the prophets and messenger has been sent with one message. There is only one God and should worship the same God. Okay. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All those prophets and messengers that are mentioned in the Quran. Yeah. It starts with 
Adam, Adam, Adam. Adam. Name from Adam, then Noah, Suleiman, Noah, Sal Salah, Salah, David, Jacob, David, and Jacob Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, yeah, Jacob Ishmael, Ishmael, Harun, uh, and uh, Harun John the Baptist. You call it Yahya, Yahya, oh, Zachariah, Yahya is Zachariah, John the yeah, John the Baptist. Of course. John the Baptist. Who? Saleh. Oh, Solomon. Saleh. 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 Oh, Saleh. Saleh. Uh, so, Abraham's great so, great grandfather. So, our hadith say that 124,000 prophet has been sent. Whoa. Okay, 124. So, so and Allah hadith, mentioned. Allah, Allah, Allah mentioned. Allah hadith mentioned. Hadith is the, the, the. There's the Quran. No, no, no. Hadith is the saying of the prophet, which is inspired by but, God. But the hadith is a. I'm just so so that I get this. Hadith is a written down record of what Muhammad said. So hadith is something, okay, hadith is his saying, but his teaching. Okay, let's say hadith. Hadith is something what he says, he act upon it, and the totality of the life he does, this is called hadith in a nutshell. But the hadith and the Quran, slightly different. What are the difference? The Quran is the literal word of God, meaning he did not input his word, anything. Exactly what angel given him, he memorized it, and then he passed down. And it's keep continuing to this date. Okay. Oral tradition is still there, and this is our primary preservation of the Quran. Hadith is something which is understanding. It's an and understanding. Yes, of the Quran, in it's in the, not the Quran. It's, it's not the Quran, Quran, but but it's also inspired by God. How do we know that? Because in the Quran, Allah said about Prophet Muhammad, "Wama yantiqo anil hawa." So He's talking about that Prophet Muhammad doesn't speak from his desire. In huwa illa wahyu yuha, he only speak based on the revelation he received. So, Prophet Allah is in control of what Prophet is going to convey to his community. Okay, so, but, but prophets aren't perfect. No, they prophets are. Prophets make mistakes. Prophets. So what we have, say, they, yeah, they are free from major mistakes, and not major mistakes. No, I mean like for example, like um, when Adam. He, he out of he had a forgetfulness when Allah tells Adam and Eve not to eat the fruits in the creation story and out of forgetfulness he mistakenly eaten it. So okay. we, we say mistake, we don't say sin. Okay. Right? So but when they convey Trans the religious transgression. Yeah, they don't do transgression. Not even no, transgression. No, no, no. no. Just, just a mistake. No, just, it doesn't apply. Just forgot. No, exactly. Okay. So what we say? Way, he, he, he went against what God told him to do. Yeah, but was it a real tree? So some I have tons of questions. I'm holding most of yeah. them so you can so you don't get interrupted. But th was it a real tree? So this is something uh, mentioned that that is in the heaven. That was a. I won't, I won't hold that, you to it, by the way. I no, 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 no. It was mentioned not to eat, not to eat a fruit from the tree. Yeah. The description of the tree, we do not know exactly how. Is it like a worldly tree, or we don't know? Right. Okay. Where I go. So, yeah. So, in, in <coughs> Sorry. Islam, it's is it a parable? Is it a metaphor? No, it's not a metaphor. It, it's a real. It's a real. Yeah. It's a real thing. So it's there a was a real guy named Adam. Yes. Eve, a real wife. Yeah. Real tree. Yes. But but Allah basically the whole point of the narrative is. Yeah. It's what? not because they will make mistake and then God will send the, down them to the earth. The whole point of this education is for us that if you fall in mistake or shortness of God's command, you ask God for forgiveness. So okay, when, look, look. when, so when Adam made the mistake, what did he do? He said, oh my Lord, forgive me. Right? What did Allah say? Allah, forgive him. Forgive the, the sin of Adam. So therefore, we do not say that every child is a sinner because of the Adam eaten the fruit he disobeyed right. God so we don't say that children are born innocent, innocent correct right okay. so in that creation story we can that make the separation me. exactly but they're born evil doesn't make sense now going back evil. to the messenger going back to the Prophet Muhammad was the last and final messenger okay. now if we follow him then this is the salvation because he was sent for mankind and the last and final messenger he already appeared and he is already gone and he left us two souls so, so, so what are the two sources? The Quran and, and the Hadith. Okay, so, so some people say it's just the Quran, and you're saying no, it's not just. So, 
So this is, okay, I'm not trying to be rude, I'm yeah. trying to understand. Yes. Yeah. We had this conversation earlier yeah. with somebody yeah. else where mm -hmm. it's like, if you say he's the final messenger, but then there's a list of messengers in the hadith, people who gave, people who are wise, wise men, who give their opinions about or who state, not it's not the word of God, which is the Quran, but it's these wise men's views on, is that, is that accurate? Where I, no, no, it's, Quran. It's, it's, it's accounts of what the Prophet ﷺ did and what he said. Okay, yeah. so they're accounts, but it's, just, just, this is where so I started. Basically, let, 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 what the Prophet did and said has been revealed to him, so it's been documented. What so I, I think that is a distinguished uh, required distinguish, uh, things required here in the Quran and Hadith. Quran is the verbatim word of God, word for word. Quran yeah. is the verbatim, verbatim word, word of God, God right? Okay. For example, when it came no, I got, word, I word by word, sense. yes, sir. They, they got and but the Hadith is not the verbatim word of no, God. No, no, and it's not from Muhammad. He didn't no, it's write not. Him. No, exactly. But so these are inspired by God, but through the wording of okay, Muhammad. I'm with you. So yes. this is where, for my mind, for yeah. I think for an honest person yeah. looking at it would go. No, we are not sugarcoating our religion here. I don't. Well, that's that's what I respect. Yes. Because he's not doing like I, I'm just trying to find people who say you just got to look at it this one certain but way. But then again, then again, we need to look into how. Why should we rely on the hadith? This is an, a different topic, which is the biggest. Well, I don't want. This is what, well. This is a big deal because people are going to say, well, uh -huh. some people today. I, I don't think me, it's a big deal. All Muslims I, agree. I, I, I tell like, you, they don't. I, 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 I tell you, it's not a big deal. Okay. For for someone who is beginner in Islam, I tell you why. Because our hadith does not contradict with the Quran. Now, okay. if hadith contradict with the Quran, you can reject the hadith. The whole point of, if you look at the hadith in general. Hadith actually talks about what is Hadith. Quran is only a book of 6,236 verse. It doesn't tell you all the necessary things. Like it talks about the foundation, but the application explained in the Hadith. For example, for example, how to go and clean our bum, the steps, the dua, all of the things mentioned. How to sleep in our bed? Shall we do in left side? Or shall we do on the right side? How much to eat as a healthy eating? These are not mentioned in the Quran, but you will find the foundation in the Quran. Okay. But explanation of all these things are in Hadith. So what it does, it Hadith supplement the Quran, meaning gives understanding of yeah, it. Yeah, no, right? I, I get this one. This yeah. is my problem is with the with the responsibility of a of any individual person in Islam to say. What am I responsible for? Uh -huh. Is it, and and who do I listen to about that? What if two, what if two wise men? Two, what if you have a Sunni and a Shia who disagree? All right. Okay. Like, I, think, I think that's, that's then, because that, they do. And you can say, and people say, oh, the majority. Okay. So fine. Go, God so let, says go with the majority. You see what I'm I, saying? I, I understand, Uka, sure. So that's why it's go back to the foundation. So if we understand that, if we go back to the Prophet, if we look at the Quran in light of how prophet explained we should listen to how prophet explained okay now we find prophet explained five things six, six belief that a muslim should believe in it to be a muslim you need to believe in six things so believe in god okay. believe in angel okay. believe in books check 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 believe in uh, prophets check believe in day of judgment check believe in predestination check you are muslim believe you have already then i am Let's do a how and then and I got a lot of questions now uh, we will we'll, we'll, we'll come back go, so your belief now we do the checklist and you are a mu Muslim by belief now belief is not something is a lip service in Islam right. belief is something to be action through our life otherwise how can you distinguish between true belief and a, a someone who is genuine and who is yeah, not genuine yeah so that's why in chapter 29 it said Allah said in beginning that do you think uh, you will you will be left alone just to say we believe and you don't have to be tested Allah tested the, the people before you and Allah will test you yeah. but whoever passed the test they will they are the successful people and then Allah laid out the condition of how to attain that success so this first success first thing is once you believe this six article of faith you should take the uh, the Shahada which means you come to Islam by testifying three things okay. there is only one God Worship Check. the same God, 
and follow Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as his final messenger. That's the problem. Okay, I'll, I'll come. If I no, say I'll, yes, now I'll, 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 I can follow you. Hold the thought. Hold the okay. thought for a minute. I'll come back to it, and we'll go back why Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger of God. But, and then the second, second uh, pillar which. Is, is, okay. Just, okay. Okay. You need to do it for your thing. It's okay, okay. Fine. I, no. No. I'm, I'm okay. I'm just. Okay. You now. Need to do it for your film. No. 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 Okay. Let's say. Let's say Muhammad. Let's. Let me address your point. How do we know Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Do you believe Quran is the word of God? I don't see anything problem. I don't have a problem with it as a holy book, and I think that anyone would be crazy to not see that it has had an effect on the entire world. So I go, of course. And in the Quran, this is my that every single Christian should look and go. Isa is mentioned as the Messiah. How many times in the Quran? 25 times in the Quran. He was mentioned 25 times in the Quran, but they also don't tell you that Adam also mentioned 25 times in the Quran. <laughs> and Allah mentioned in one verse, "Inna masala Isa in the Allahi kama sali Adam." No, no, I, I, so Allah, Allah said, you know, the I think there's have gone bad this, on, on you. So, on so your, the minute so, Isa was gone, so, so Allah, like, we're, we're not gonna. I don't, I don't. Their interpretation is not interesting to me. Yeah. Because they're 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 easily provable wrong. Yes. And yeah, we can make a video on that, and we'll both yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, both show both how agree, that yeah. works. But so, so that doesn't now work. the biggest proof of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a prophet is the Quran itself. Okay, so then that, that's what I, I want to go from the because yeah. in the Quran itself, yeah. Isa is called the Messiah. Yes. So anybody should be able to say, well, Isa is the Messiah. He had power over death. He, yes. he brought birds to life. He healed people. He raised the dead. He was born to a virgin. That sounds. Like a pure Christian should be able to be Islam but, as but well. That's one it's very thing, convincing. But Allah also saying one thing when He is explaining this miracle. He is saying bi iznillah, meaning through the power of Allah. That's fine. Right now, when He was performing that miracle, why someone has to perform miracle so that the community can accept Him as a messenger of God? Why okay. someone? Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, Good. He, I mean, He did that exactly. I, why? We we'll both agree He did that, but to me. That should be convincing to every single Christian yeah. that they should be. Is, but they're not well, listening anyway. I know. So, so we both agree with that. They're they're lost. So, but but I'm saying, for, for a, a religion to be Just compelling, based. yeah, and to be that everybody could could willingly be Muslim, then then that that Jesus is the Messiah should not stand in the way because it's 25 times in the Quran it says Isa. Is Masi? No, so basically, I mean, not let, let, a Christian one. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, you one of the. What it is. I'll tell you one of the amazing feature of the Quran, okay. and that how Allah addressed Jesus Christ. So Allah said in chapter three, verse fifty-nine, Inna masal Isa inda Allahi kama sali Adam khalaqahu min turab summa qala lahu kun fayakun. The in the in the eyes of God, the similitude of Jesus is like of Adam, okay. meaning they both were created miraculously. I mean, one created. Awesome. They I didn't agree. right. Agree. They sure. don't not exactly like that, but the similitude. They have a likeness. What sure. is the likeness? Likeness is Jesus was created without father, and Adam is created without parents. Meaning they have a miraculous sure. birth, right? Yeah. Now look at the transition of amazing miracle of the Quran. Now, the grammarian, the linguistics, they look at the word count of the Quran. They find different prophets mentioned different times of the Quran. Sure. None of them matching one another. Like Moses mentioned over hundred times, I think Abraham mentioned nearly about hundred or something like that. Yeah, but Moses only two prophets. Abraham, yeah, but there's two prophets mentioned exactly the same time. Exactly. Adam and Jesus. So Abraham what the sta Quran actually saying, I like that. even numerically, and that is an objective proof. Objective proof. Why I said that? Yeah. That someone can look into by the word count or apply your software. You can look it up. Right, there is a site called Quran Corpus. You can have a have a look. Yeah, no, I like it. Now, I've, I've so that up. shows that the the information is not just unique; it presented in a very unique way. Okay, like it. The stylistics has been is unique, so Allah presented it in a unique way. Same way, if we go back to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, what are the challenges of the Quran? The challenges of the Quran is to produce a full book like it. Or produce ten chapter like it, or produce a single chapter like it. Okay. Because if if you say Prophet Muhammad is not a prophet and he made up the Quran, then of course ten brain is better than one brain. Why don't you all sit down together and produce something like it? Yeah, yeah. 
I agree. Now, I, 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 now that, that's a proof. That's a proof. I'll tell you why. That's something you should consider and accept Islam. No, I'm, I'm fine with that. that so then, no, that's not that's not my issue. Then is is how to actually keep and, and be a good Muslim. Ah, uh, okay, Meaning, fine. Because as a as a a good Christian should be able to be a good. Mu they, they should change. They should admit, hey, my religion was made up by Constantine. It it was it was a crazy thing, mm. and and and. Europe was dark, dark, dark until the Crusades came a thousand years ago. Uh -huh. They came in contact with Islam. That's where they got the guitar, they got the violin, yeah, yeah, yeah. they got distillation, they got all kinds. That's the next thing that's yeah. going on my site is, is all of the things that, that Europe, where we are now, got from Islam a thousand years ago. So, so no that, that's why it's important to understand the revelation itself. The revelation is said, starting with, is said, this is a book, there is no doubt. A guidance for mankind. Now, imagine any aspect of our life. Right. How should we live our life? This is a big question, now, these right? Are, these are going to get. This is the question now. Yeah. Because, because what Allah me, said. What we're going to have with the with the Quran. Is, yeah. Here's my problem. Is the, what I'm finding in yes. Islam is there's double speak. Okay. Sorry if you bring. No, this no, up no. Here. Please, please but, speak up. But I, we don't mind, like, you know. It's it's the Christianity wants me to go. Oh, there's only one God, but there's three, and uh -huh. there's one and three and three and one and yeah, one and three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you go, no, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh -huh. like, wh which is it? Is it one? Is it three? Like, no. in, in, uh -huh. uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's just a linguistic trick of something. It doesn't uh -huh. make any uh -huh. sense. And I don't think it makes any sense to them. Mm -hmm. But each religion does this. Okay? They, they deny some realities. I mean, Jews, you know, the ancient city of Israel. It's okay, but the walls are only 600 years old. Uh -huh. You even say that on your own plaques. It, it's not that old. Um, if I'm going to live according to what Muhammad, yeah. or what God, what Allah says, the word of Allah is in the Quran. Yes. Okay. But now, how do I know from the Kadib, from the, from okay, the fine. extra stuff, okay, fine. how do I know very who simple. to trust there? Very, very simple. So we have something called um, uh, grading of the Hadith. So in Islam, our scholar also identified there are fake hadiths there, meaning they there are identified fake. Ones. I identify these are weak hadiths. Okay. And also identify there are hadiths which is sahih. There are a hadiths which have hasan, which is good. So there are many layers of, of test has been applied. What are the tests? They look at the memory of the person who narrating it, and the chain, all of the chain. Because in Islam we have something amazing, and it, I don't know is. I do not know anywhere they have that practice. It's called chain of narration, the isnad, right? Yeah, chain where, of where you have the person uh, so, gives, so, gives testimony of the next person to the next person. Correct. Back ten, ten right. generations. So we Again, have we okay. have multiple chain of narration. The Quran came to us. Hadith came to us. Right. So out of like few hundred thousand hadiths, we have roughly around ten thousand hadiths are sahih. Meaning we can accept. And so how that, many that you can't accept. No, like there are a lot of things we cannot accept. But okay. this is mentioned in the hadith. It shows what does it shows? It shows the sincerity of the people that they really wanted to ensure that we have the correct guidance. Sure, I, I get it. Fine. I understand that they uh, were sincere. Right, exactly. Does that mean they under because what what we're getting at with the one and three yeah. is the difference between the prophet messenger, Muhammad, and those wise people who who gave us the the hadith? Oh, okay. Right. So is so that, basically, that go, uh, th no. This is not. This is not true. This is not true. I'll tell you why it's not true. Okay. If you read the hadith, you will find this is not true. Because any hadith, yeah, well, the hadith has. But you just said no. Had, some hadith, hadith that are good no, and some are bad. No. And let decided. me let me let me tell you. Hadith has three parts. First part is the narrator. So, let's say any hadith you opened up, yeah. it said uh, Abdullah ibn Masood narrated. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that. So we know from that hadith, beginning it tells you first things that who narrated the hadith from Prophet, meaning who heard it, right. who witnessed it, right? I understand. Then we find the matan, which is mean the text itself. What is the message of the hadith? Yes. Then we find the third thing that we find all the ch all of the people in this chain who narrated this. Yeah. Let's say one hadith heard by one companion, another one, another one, another one, let's say 10 of them. Okay. And 10 of them, they narrated this hadith. 
one hadith let's say went to korea one to germany one to netherlands okay. and we find the same hadith people are following today so so they pass down an accurate uh, oral history uh, exactly plus yeah. plus also with uh, exactly so but now that's some, why that's why point you're, ha you're having to trust someone right so and for example let me, let me help you with with muhammad and, and the quran okay Salah he was Ill yes peace Salah be upon him peace be upon him so, yeah. so, so peace be upon him he 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 was illiterate he did not write a book no but for the Christians and the Jews, Moses didn't, Jesus didn't write a book. They didn't write a book. They, the, the language wasn't there, even in, in, in Hebrew. So, so you're trusting someone and, and the Christian Bible. There is no original text to any of it. There is no original text. I mean, Allah someone, didn't leave us like that. He also mentioned why he didn't let, he chose an unlettered prophet. But, he also, also told us no, no, that I, the I, critics would not complain. In chapter 29, verse 40, he said, well, Neither you knew how to read or write before the revelation come. Yes. So that shows that otherwise someone would say, oh, he's a, he's a literate person. So he copied from this place and he copied from this yeah, no, from that, compelling. you know. I, I like that part yeah. and that makes sense. Yeah. But Muhammad himself would have had to trust somebody. Yeah. If he had somebody standing there who's writing it down. Oral tradition. Yeah. Then I, I'm giving my, I'm saying, okay, brother, write this down. Yeah. And he writes it down, and he's smart, and yeah. he's got the oral, he's, he's memorized it yeah. too. And then he says, I don't like that part. So he changes it, no. and he says back to me the truth, but he's written down something wrong. Right, like, okay. I, I now have to trust him to no. write the book. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll respond that. At I'll, some point, you have, to, you have to trust the person yes. who's writing it down because Muhammad was illiterate. Yes. So Muhammad so, had to trust someone, and then you move to the next level, which is Kadir. Yeah. Which is now you have to trust those guys and their I'll, I'll, I'll test you. I'll tell you something Does that else. Make sense? Yeah, That's I'll tell you. There's something else in Islam we call Ilmu Rijal, the chain of man, where we record all of the transmitter within the hadith yeah, or like even, it. right? Yeah, their like life story has been recorded. Whether they are truthful, even did they hear well, that also been recorded. Whether they are known to be a liar, How right? How many witnesses are there? So there are like, if, one, no, so for example, for each if, one is it just one or so you'll, you'll find four? some of them are short chain, some of them a longer chain. Okay. All we need to is, it's not just one chain coming to us. We have multiple mutawatir chain, we can confirm. On, on each of the hadiths? Or no, just, no, 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 the, the hadith grading will tell you okay. and even uh, I'll show you in, 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 no, in, in, in a moment. I'll just trust you. I'm yeah. With you. Yeah, yeah. So you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, at I, some I say. point, so you're saying, okay, but we're all bros and we agree. And so yeah. we will also, yeah, that's true. So, but the whole point was the whole point, the difference between the Bible on and any other books, Islam, when the books and the oral revelation came to the Prophet, it became public property. So it was not less limited to the rabbis or someone specialized. It was a public property. So people Agreed. are completely Agreed. aware. But of, once you hit the hadith, you're in the same spot as the Jews with, with the rabbis. Yeah. They're scholars. They're very smart. Yeah. Nobody says they're stupid people, mm. but they have they have an oral tradition or a written tradition, and now yeah. you're trusting but, them. But you're the, trusting the, these the, knowledgeable... the difference here, the difference here is, we have our robust system that can detect the hadith and it grade the hadith based on the merit of the hadith by implementing all the condition just i mentioned no, no i understand right. i think it's the best thing you can do exactly exactly and I, and I don't disagree with the fact that you can actually yes. have a really good oral tradition because we can all memorize songs and if i say the wrong words to a song you're gonna everybody's gonna go oh that's the wrong word we'll know that and so that's not a question the question is and, and it's not a, it's it's just an observation that says at some point you have to trust someone that 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 got written down correctly so, and that that person yeah. is transmitting it correctly so basically all Does that, that yes 100 percent. no matter how many witnesses yeah, you yeah, have yeah. To, so all, all we find is we look at the character we look at the chain of transmission so yeah. i cannot say everyone is liar and everyone is truthful right. so right. our right. other scholars have looked into all of the chain of narration we looked they looked into it and then they mentioned in the rijal the chain if they have a weak memory they even rejected the hadith from these people if they find someone is dodgy someone oh, like is doing good right no, 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 so like it's it. you know so all of these things have been applied and i'm again i'm not saying that those people themselves were good were honorable didn't have good memories but they're not allah and they're no, not of course, muhammad of course, of course. And so yeah. as a guy yeah. just just, just to, uh, yeah in, in terms of the quran so <coughs> i think you're conflating the, uh, the quran and the hadith no, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm I think he's his, 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 his hadith, yeah. But, but, yeah. I'll oh, let you, I'm, I'm you, just going to go with Quran and say, 
Quran, I'm, I'm okay with. Okay, then, then we can work. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <coughs> then we can work from. Yeah, because the same people in the Quran say. Yeah. Well, see, yeah. So, so basically, and 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 guy earlier. It says again, you must follow the words of Allah and the words of Muhammad. And I go, okay, where's the words of Muhammad? And they go. Okay, now that's another book. This is the three in one. This is where it gets. No, but I think if you follow Quran, okay, it, it, what it, it, can I get a written copy of? Like today, no. how do you know? So, so basically, hadith. So we have yeah. Sahih al Bukhari. How many books? How many? So like, we, we have Kutub al Sitta, but it's a six famous book. Okay, so it, uh, it, these are six. So yeah, six. The, uh, the Bukhari, so Muslim, Tirmidhi, Sunan, and different books about the size of this that are now. No, it's just quite big. It's quite big. So there's a kind of a library, which is fine. No, I mean six. Yeah. But, but it's bigger than going to cut off. Of course, of course. Of okay, course. Which, so, which is a normal religious... Yeah, fine, fine. You understand from outside, it's of a normal course, religious thing. The Jews no, I understand. Have, the Jews have the Talmud, which today they value more than the Tanakh. They, yeah. they value it more than the original scripture. And I go, no. ooh, which makes sense because I don't know how to, like you said, how do I read that? How yeah. do I know how to Correct. wipe my arse? How do I know how to sleep? Yeah. How do I know how to so eat? So the examination that... So it grows. Yes. Religion so, grows. So this within this hadith, we have that three part I mentioned. Yeah. The, the chain of narration. And then you have the matan, which is the text. And then the narrator in the beginning. Okay. So that... We have those classification, right? So we have that classification. Okay, so you have you have the actual text. Actual text. So the chain of. So the actual. I think that's the, responsible. Yeah, exactly. The witnesses. text doesn't start with this the beginning. Is you said it. Text actually There's in the middle. This is for that person's character. Yes. I, I, Fine. I, I, it's so, the best thing you could do. Fine. It's it's, and, it's and, noble. And then again, Quran is the yardstick. The hadith will not go against the Quran. Okay. So for example, like when Allah mentioned that when you have a dispute, what should we do? Now you have a dispute. Let's say we have a dispute in the matter regarding religion. Yeah. So Allah said in the Quran, فَإِن تَنَازَعَتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُّوا إِلَى اللَّهِ That whenever the dispute occur between us, do we go back to scholar? No. Do we back to uh, a layman? No. We go back to Allah and His Messenger. Meaning, how the, the Quran, Quran. Okay. and how, no, how like actually, that, and that the, that exactly, exactly. That's why, that's why the authority of religion was not given to any human being. After Prophet left. Okay, I'm, I'm more right. comfortable now. If, right. If you're going to give me that, I go, okay, because if I have to start absolutely. believing in Kadith, now I have to go, well, wait. And I'm not saying it's not good. Yeah. It might be good, but I'm going to have to study six e Exactly. So, so we have Usulul Hadith. And then I'm also going to find Muslims across the planet who disagree with each other. I mean, there's some people who, who are going to say ISIS is Muslim. Or, I mean, or look, these, these, are, these, these are the topic, a debated topic. but. Well, we're talking about salvation. We're talking about salvation matter. Okay, so Let's stick with the main principle. Okay. This is where, I mean, your kind of, now, you believe in the six article of faith. Yeah. Now, we have clarified the hadith and the Quran. And now, all is need to do is to do your testification to become a Muslim. That's all left. Okay, but uh, I'm, you, you hear, I'm, I'm missing yeah. the part on, it, it becomes a word game with me, mm -hmm. where you go, hmm. The word well, of Jesus God. Saying is every, every Muslim, Shia, Sunni, will all agree that there's only one Quran, okay, that there's only one God, and that Prophet Muhammad is the last of yeah. the messenger. Every Muslim okay. agrees on that. Okay. Uh, the questions that you're asking completely valid. Yeah. And, you should be and, and these, them. these are That's what I'm these How are to actually practice Islam. Okay. Puts me in the position of every other religion, which is like, now who do I trust? Fine. Fine. Now, now I have to go, I can't, and to me, in the end, and you said it earlier, in the end, you go to God, you yeah. have to read the, you have to yeah. read the word, and you have to go straight to Allah and say, okay. Look, look, because I'm responsible Allah, for Allah, Allah giving a principle here. Right? Allah is giving okay. Allah principle. Allah says, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وصحة. Allah does not burden a soul beyond his capacity. Say that so, again. Allah does not burden a soul beyond his capacity. Okay. So Allah knows what level of intention you have. Yeah. How much you are striving to know for the truth. Yeah. And in, in, in Islamic tradition, there are many people who travel from Syria, Iraq to meet Prophet. Because they knew from the sign that there is a Prophet okay. coming. Why did the Jews living in the outskirts of Medina? Because they knew that he is coming. Amen. But we can't Correct. do that. We right. don't know how tall he is. Right. We don't know what color eyes. No, we, it, know we, we have it. We have. We have. How tall is? No. So you it's mentioned. Yes. We, we don't know. So we, we have. We have something. A, a study called Shamail of the Prophet, meaning Shamail, Shamail of the Prophet. Yeah. Meaning. Where is that? He is not excessively tall. Neither he is in short. The description, like how he was. Okay. And, and in fact, in, in fact, in fact, no, in, in a hadith. hadith. In fact, hadith. he was mentioned. He was the most good-looking person in the planet. Before that, Joseph, uh, sorry, Yusuf, 
Yusuf is Joseph, right? Yeah. Yeah. Joseph was known, they was attributed that he has the half of the beauty of the world. And in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that he will be the half of the beauty of the rest of the world. Yeah. So it shows that even his stature, his eye color, everything has been mentioned as documented. That's why this Allah, Allah mentioned وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَ that he will be remembered everywhere in the planet. Every second he will be remembered. Like every prayer we, we say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. So we send peace and salutation to Abraham and throughout the Abraham genealogy and Prophet Muhammad, all of them, right? Okay. So that shows that Prophet is not something divorced from our life. He is an integral part of our life. And a Muslim okay. is, a true Muslim is someone who loves Prophet Muhammad more than himself. Okay. So now, I mean, I in Islam, Alhamdulillah, we, we, I'm, a, I'm blessed because our tradition is so intact. Our tradition is so scrutinized and synchronized. The Quran is Hadith. So now all is required for someone is to embrace Islam because first of all we need to secure the salvation. When it comes to the matter of application of okay, oh, shall I do uh, prayer while I don't have water or okay, shall I you fast, can, yeah, you know, it, it. All, all of the supplementary things. Yeah. These are secondary things. What importance is, is the salvation, meaning do we acknowledge him? Do we worship him? Shall I give his right to be worshipped? Because Allah, the God meaning this someone who write to me. And I, that this, yeah. this is important to me. What, is this, what does it mean to have salvation? Yeah. What is the word of Allah? What is it saying? Aside, how do I know which is the correct? Right. Which is the so correct? basically, so now, once you say Shahada, you will pray five daily prayers. If you go to any mosque, they will teach you. Any mosque you go. My friends in Iran say, no, you don't have to do three. No, but, no, 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 but. No, no, this the, is big, it's pretty yeah, widespread. In, in yeah. Iran. And, and, and this, this is a big deal. You see what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. that's in the, in the, if I'm going to, again, even that's hadith. But if, if, you, if, if Muhammad himself has the same question and he's taken to heaven. Basically, with Muhammad, Moses, Muhammad was, sallallahu alayhi wa was not Shia, by the way. Shia is something a it's a, a group, a political right. group later on. But if you look at this, if I you look if you look at the mainstream Islam, these are the Sunnis, right? So Sunnis know, are the then now you're going with majority. You see we go yep. I, I I'm saying if I'm an outsider looking at Islam, yeah. Yeah. these are hard questions yeah. that need to be addressed to go look. Sunni and Shia, yeah. oh it's just political. Like, well so is Catholic and Protestant. I mean, I mean, I mean we, we can in, test in, the arguments and you can look it up both arguments from the Shia and the sure. Sunni. And right. We'll, we'll and have to, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we have I to have to do that because it's entered into my head. Correct. And I appreciate your patience yes. and your kindness. Absolutely. And these guys because I'm not trying to be rude. Yeah. I'm trying to say, look, this is serious shit. If I have yeah. to go talk to Allah, mm. I better get real straight uh -huh. on, on what all this means. Mm. Sorry, you have to break that word out. Yeah. Um, but but I have to be, I have to be honest because I can't yeah. play stupid and go, oh, I don't know, he told me. Yeah. You know, I, I have to get real honest and say, look, how do I know what I know? And how do I be responsible for the knowledge that, and the questions that I've been given? That, that's the fundamental question here. Once yeah. someone has to understand the Quran in order to understand that. Why? Because if you don't have the ingrained principle, then how do you know who are talking the truth? Yeah. Do you see my point? Yeah. Well, that, I, I think the ingrained. No, I, I tell you why. I tell you why. Each one of us, because each one of us has to be responsible. Yeah. You said it earlier. You have to be responsible before Allah, by yourself, yeah. for what knowledge you have and yes. what understanding yeah. you have, right? Yeah. So let's let's test it. Okay. When Quran talks about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, did he talk about himself or his companion along with him? His companion along with him, because he has. The journey he was going through, he has companion within him. They are with him. Okay. Right? And these are, we have documents, these are the trustable people. Okay. God chose who will be the companion of the Prophet. Imagine, this is not just God choosing the Prophet. God also choosing who should be with Prophet. Sure. Right? So, okay. through divine wisdom of God, God placed the best among people surrounding him. 
and from the historical narrative we never find they are deceitful or they are someone who's cheater or we can think oh they are bad people right okay. we can have laughs but generally these are good people so if you look at the Shia understanding they reject the mainstream like Abu Bakr Siddiq Umar ibn al-Khattab these are the famous companion of the Prophet right okay. so they reject them they reject them. they reject them the main are them. they are those companions in the Quran or is that in the other no basically by name they are not mentioned okay. but for example like it's okay. I'll, but I'll but take it. but, but, just... but how Allah is addressing Allah is addressing وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ يَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ تَقُومُ أَدْنَا مِنْ سُلُسَ اللَّيْلِ وَنِصْفَهُ وَسُلُسَهُ وَطَائِفَةٌ مِنَ الَّذِينُ مَعَكَ That Allah knows that you and your companions standing half of the night or two-thirds of the night by praying and glorifying God, reciting Quran. So when Allah is addressing, Allah did not address Prophet himself alone. He was addressing those who were with him. Now Allah is telling that the companion are actually memorizing the Quran and then they're passing down to the Quran. Okay. So Allah placed them as an important matter of the deen. Okay. Now if I, if Allah put someone in as an important matter of the religion, okay. if someone take those important people, would you accept that testimony? Sure, if I knew that that happened, of course, that happened. Exactly. So that's why we accept Prophet Muhammad, we accept those companions. By the way, the one who say Ali should be preferred over other, we also accept him, he is a Fourth Khalif, meaning he was one of the Khalifate and he was someone who is very wise and we do not reject him. Okay. But what we are saying is, in how do you know that Abu Bakr as should be trustable? Because while Prophet was alive, when he cannot lead the prayer because... Well, that he even existed. This is, this is my thing, that these people even exist. I can take Muhammad existing yeah. because God talks, Allah talks about him yeah. in the Quran. Yeah. I go, okay, uh -huh. therefore, I can either reject Quran, yeah. which I can, because a lot of the world does, but I can't, I can't say it's not a powerful book. I have to say the Quran is a powerful book because there's billions of people, millions, probably billions, who, who, who say, this has changed my life. This is an important, yeah. powerful book. So that's so why. Go, okay, so now I'm going to take the Quran. I have to take it seriously yes. because without that, I have to deny it. The, the fact of modern Islam, yeah, which I'm not. I'll, 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 I'll tell say, you. I'll, and then I meet nice people like you and say, okay, look, these are not violent bad people. So if, if you're honest with with God or Hashem or or, or Allah, you better you should read the book. Uh -huh. and you should understand what it's saying. Uh -huh. Past that, you're now asking me to have faith in, and believe in other things. That that's, if it's not in the Quran, I have to go. Okay, now I have to be. I, I have to understand why I would believe that. Does that make sense? Now, uh, and, 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 and I know that, I know that you I'm going to make a point which may be a, one of the strongest points for you to think about. Okay. One of the names of the Quran is called Furqan, which distinguishes between truth and false. Okay. So it will tell you what is the false, the methodology. Quran will give you some methodology that you can apply to know what is truth and false. Okay. So once you go through with the Quran, you will know because you will have the God's fundamental book Understanding I'm, I'm now, we're going to agree on the Quran. I mean, I'm going to yeah. go look now. When we say Quran, I, I agree on the Quran. How do that you is there. No truth in, in in when I'm you're speaking to the whole world. Yeah. You either have to conquer by force and mm. kill people, or you have to convince them and yes. say, "Look, this is a holy book." In which case, you go here, which you or somebody gave me a little copy. Somebody over there. No, now, now, no, I think that I the say, question so, is so the I second last question, and, and that has to touch my heart. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it I will, have it to will. hear it, and then something inside me has to go. You know that's right, and if I if I watch the news and watch horrible acts happening, I go, nah, I don't even want to look at that. And so, the, and but when I talk to nice people who go, no, no, this is a peaceful, mm. good thing, then I can read it and say, okay, now let it enter in my heart. Uh -huh. It has to enter my ears, then my heart. This is how I know anything is true because unless you saw Allah or heard Him give it to Muhammad yourself, you're now believing in a story that you heard, which is fine. That's what we all do. It's, it's called anecdotal. We we, we have an experience. And we go. Yeah. We have an experience. And we go. Okay, because this kind of convinces me. So, and I appreciate your time. And, and this guy's done a lot of time with me. Where I go. I appreciate the time. And the I think if we summarize it, I would say. You actually believe in the article of faith. Okay. All you need is to those things you require to believe in Allah. Okay. And in order to get the salvation, you already have it. 
Okay, good. So do I have to stop asking questions? No. Can I keep, no. This is you've been I, very helpful. I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to say something. What's that? I'm going to ask you to become a Muslim. That's an invitation. You okay. can accept it or reject it. I'll tell you why I, I made I, the invitation. I, no, no, no I, I appreciate that. I, my problem is I do not understand when when you say Allah uh, or uh, Muhammad's the last prophet. I don't know if that's like what what's the last movie you saw. Right. Where I go because now, there's an imam. There's a bunch of stuff in there that says, okay, there is an imam. Or I forget the name, but he comes before at the end, the final war. Yeah. And he's a great leader. Now, I, I have questions for probably a whole other time where I say, how do you recognize that? Person? Right. For example, how do you know who that is? And do you listen to him or do you argue with him from the? So basically, for the Quran. So you basically, the Quran gives this foundation. It said, Quran, khataman nabiyin. Prophet Muhammad mentioned as Khatam al Nabi, meaning seal of the Prophet. Meaning, and he said, La Nabi Abada, there is no Prophet after me. I understand that. Fine. And I, everybody understands that. But of the course, Muslims believe it's the last Prophet, but there is a problem with the word Prophet, uh -huh. is what I'm saying, or Messenger, or whatever you want to make it, because you have Muhammad in the Quran. If I wanted to do that, I could, I could take that and say, okay, let me, let me get back to you on that, and I, and I can do that. But when you say, oh, by the way, in the Quran it says every word of Allah and Muhammad, and there's this Qarif over here, six more volumes that you have to, and by the way, not everybody and agrees I, on that, so find a group of people that agrees and be part of that group of people. I, I think, let's, dis you? let's distinguish, let's break the time messenger and prophet here. Okay. The messenger, no. messenger is, is very important. Messenger has a message with a book. I've, I've heard the definition. No, no, not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Prophet was sent to someone. Ibn Taymiyyah has a balanced view. So he, he mentioned that a, a prophet uh, is someone who will be uh, followed by a messenger. A prophet is someone followed by a messenger. And a prophet they, was sent for the believer. So a prophet is followed by a messenger. Yes. And the so, messenger writes it down or what? No, the, so the, here the idea is here like Adam. Okay. Adam was a prophet because he's already receiving. There is no disbeliever at that time. Okay. When started disbelieving, then God sent messenger. Noah was the first messenger. Why? Because people start disbelieving God. But in Adam time, they are sure about God. Do you see? So there is a distinction in between. But Prophet Muhammad is the last. So do you, do you have Cain and Abel? Of Abel course, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So Cain kills him, so he doesn't believe him. That's not good. No, good? no, no. He doesn't believe, no. His story was mentioned when he killed his brother. Okay. He was upset because, not because he killed him, just because how he need to bury him, he doesn't know. Then Allah sent a crow to, gra to, to open up the grave, basically dig up the grave so that uh, Cain know how to bury Abel. So right. God wasn't, God, God was okay with Cain, with Cain killing Abel? No, but because the test was there, he knows he done wrong. Okay, so he's not okay with it. No, it's not okay, okay with that, right. Okay. Every, every, if you but kill he, a... Then, then Cain's not doing the will of Allah. Uh, of course, of course, okay, he, so, he disobeyed so, that command. So yeah. Noah, it goes bad pretty fast. So, so Adam's son, Cain, kills his other son, Abel, and it's bad right there. Yeah. Like it started... Like Cain's not but, but doing the, the issue Allah. here is that disbelief. When we're talking about disbelief, Noah was the first messenger. And then Prophet Muhammad was the last messenger and the prophet. And in the Quran mentioned both prophet, prophet and messenger for to but, him. Okay, so, so to clarify this issue that he is indeed the last. So this is not like an ambiguous claim. This is super clear claim that he was the what are we talking about? About we're, Muhammad is the last messenger and a prophet. Okay. So that why Allah putting in the Quran, you know why? No, but, but no, I it's important. I'll tell you why. No. I, I won't argue. Okay, okay fine. I, I, I got you. Okay, fine. I, I give it to you. Yeah. But now I have other people giving me. I can't use, give me a word to use that's not messenger, not prop. I have scribes. I have wise men who are now giving me more information in the Qadir. And I have a, a future Imam, someone coming at the end of times during a war that's going to have a very important yeah. message. So that these are the. Who's that guy and what's the word I'm supposed right. to use? Because that to me, it's a very, very important thing that all Muslims, yeah. me as a Muslim, if I were a Muslim, I have to say, okay, how do I know who that is? And how do I know? Because are all Muslims going to agree? Because so, mind if I just say something? I'm yeah, going to sure. go pray quickly, sure. but just to go back to what uh, Aziz was saying about um, yeah. uh, inviting you to Islam. And then you asked the question, uh, can I ask more questions? 
So all these questions that you have, like I said earlier, they're completely valid questions. Every Muslim should yeah. be looking into these things, right? Every Muslim should be looking into these things. And it's not like... You're the best one so far because you're the only <laughs> ones who will talk to me and not get no, frustrated. It's Two weeks this guy's talked to me. <laughs> it's, so, it's, thank it's, you. It's not like, for example, in Christianity, I appreciate you. in Christianity, I remember when I was studying religious studies in A-levels, I got kicked out by my teacher. So I said, oh, if Jesus died a Jew, then why aren't you all Jewish, right? She just kicked me out, right? She, so you're not allowed to ask no. questions. In Islam, it's actually, it's actually, you know, uh, a form of worship, I think you could say, to look into Islam and research on these things. Yeah. But the main thing that Aziz was saying in terms of uh, guaranteeing salvation, uh -huh. you will only, you will only, you will only enter Jannah as if you have become a Muslim and someone who submits to yeah. the will of Allah. And to do that, to, be, to enter the fold of Islam, you just have to say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an Muhammad Rasulullah. Once you've done that, you've entered into the fold of Islam. And at that point, it's not like you can't ask questions. You can ask more questions if yeah. you want to. Okay, right? but, but I have to have, I have to be able to, in good conscience, say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I mean, for example, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll I'm going to add something. Once you clarify that question, that something else will come to your mind. Then you will say, oh, I need to know this. Then you will say, I need to know this. In one point, shaitan delays. This is a process of a shaitan. If shaitan doesn't stop you, he will tell you, okay, oh, you don't know. You can't make that journey. Oh, you don't know. But you already know. You know, like if you have a checklist, like for example, if you wanted to go to USA for a visit, yeah. you don't need to explore USA through the video in YouTube. All you need to have a visa, passport, and the validity. Right. Then you can go and explore it. Right. The whole point is here, you have ticked all the belief sure. boxes that, that will uh, uh, treat you as a Muslim. If you do that, the next journey is, as I do not know everything, neither he does, neither him. We all are learning. I am still learning to, I mean, we, everyone is learning, right? Okay. And we still learning about Hadith and Quran in many dimensions, right? So learning never stop. I think it's, it's kind of, I would say as a personally, as a humble opinion, I believe this is like one kind of trick of shaitan. He's always, ah, oh, you're not ready, you're not sure, oh, are you, are you sure? You know, all of this shubuhat, the doubt, yeah? And Allah mentioned in the Quran, that's why I was keep referring to the Quran, there are something called inner problem and there's something called outer problem. So there are, if we have the inner issue, waswas, Sometimes when shaitan whisper to us, Allah tells us there is a surah, chapter, which is a cure. So when you have feeling that inside a problem, Allah said, read surah nas, pull a'uzu rabbin nas, malikin nas, ming sharril waswasil khan nas. Allah protect me from that whisper of the shaitan, which, which keep leading yeah. me to somewhere. Then when you have an outsider destruction or outsider thought, you can read surah al-falaq, right? So, like I said, like my brother said, and the brothers are saying, you done, you, in order to be a Muslim, you actually tick the checkbox to be a Muslim. All your question about end of time, which is eschatology, yeah. these are the things, look, these are unseen things, we would not know. So we will, we will have to trust the same source that you trusted to become a Muslim in the first place. So therefore, well, no, you're still answering questions, so I can trust you for a while until you run out of answers. Right? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just giving you an answer right, because right. because the same you cannot. Oh, does the end time answer I'll get from someone, some other books? No. So the same Quran, same Hadith will tell us what will the end time. So the end time will uh, Jesus Christ will come, Imam Mahdi will come, and Jesus Christ will come, and he will break the cross, he will kill the pigs, you know, and and then he will tell people to worship Allah so oh and well, then he will be a message to give to Christians yeah they, they should believe too. exactly so look, it, and it, and then okay. Sorry. Jesus Christ came as a follower of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, meaning yeah. he will not come as a prophet but rather a, a follower of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. and Jesus Christ why he has to come because he has to die he hasn't died dead yet Okay. So, so that gives me a whole bunch more questions that I'll have to ask you next time, right? Like Allah yes. said, Kullu nafsin Every soul will test the death. So Jesus Christ will come, right, he right, will right. die. But, but he's, he's a different, this is another thing for him being a very different kind of being that, that doesn't die for 2,000 years. And that's, a, that's, that's So it's for, for next time. How many beings? No, I, many I, I, no I, I'll, 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 I'll relieve the condition now. I'll tell you, relieve the condition. When you go to the sleep, when you go to the sleep, 
when you, when you die? No, when you go to the sleep every night. Okay. Let's say 11 o'clock we go. Okay. 6 o'clock we wake up. Do we feel that 6 hour time within our sleep? No. Okay. We don't feel it. Time in the sleep is different. Okay. I like that. The same way, inside of Allah, when someone in the grave, their time is stopped. So they goes outside of the time frame, time zone. Yeah, we're with that. Exactly. I mean, so that. Time. So because therefore, time is time, time is. I mean, not, if yeah, I okay. if I apply that, oh, he, he's he has not died for two thousand years. Actually, our soul was created how many years ago? Billions of years ago. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm exactly. Saying. So That's what I'm so saying. it doesn't matter. When you say the soul, and I want to. I have questions for. Where is your soul before your? Do you have kids? Yeah, I do. I have okay. two kids. Are you gonna have more? I, inshallah. inshallah. Yeah. Okay. So if you have, if you're gonna have more, That's a real question, does yeah. your next child's soul exist somewhere right now? Does Does Allah know that child? Exactly. So Allah knows everything will come. Everything already okay. come. Good. Now all of so the soul Allah was knows. created, including the soul of Jesus, and Allah knows what you will earn tomorrow, how, when you will die. Those sure, are sure, the sure. things known to Allah. No, I now, know but now, now I'm looking at. This, this is what I'm saying with with the with the eternal nature of. of I'm asking about the beings that exist in in Islam. To go, okay, there's there's Allah, there's the there's, angels, there's, there's the angels, there's men that are living now, Jin. there are men who are dead, yes, and wherever they are in limbo, there's and and, jinn. and 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 then and then we do not know the number of creatures, right? Animal, insect. No, 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 we do I'm not know. About, yeah. I'm talking about. Beings that have eyes and know that, or, or uh, again, I don't Allah know. Allah didn't that, tell us those, yeah, but you know what He said. But we do know what I'm saying is we have that, and then we have uh, Isa, who's who lived, but now at 2,000 years he's somewhere. Yeah. He's going to come back. Yeah. So this, I'm trying. I, this is interesting. I yeah. want to understand the beings. Yeah. The, the I don't know what to call them. The, the beings, because the, they're not souls. Souls are. What you are when you die and your body goes in the so, ground. So I, I think I think the issue here, issue here, what's the definition of death? When we understand that, yeah, that, that so death, de death? death is means something soul separate from the body. Soul actually doesn't die. Soul actually right. separate from the so the soul, right. the yeah. death so, is that the soul separates from, from, the, from the, body. the body, right? And the soul goes somewhere else. No, so basically, uh, let me explain to you. In, in Islam, Allah send angel of death to take the soul. So angel of death take the soul. He's an angel, like Jibril. No, 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 Jibril. There's, there's like Jibril, yes. Like Jibril. Like, so, I mean, they are angel, right? Oh, you told me how many angels? Two, how, a couple hundred thousand. Two hundred. I mean, Allah mentioned that every uh, every four finger, I think, within in the space, you will have angels. So like full of the heavens and the earth, the angels filled, filled, filled right? Space yeah. filled with angels yeah. and jinn. I mean, we do not know. We do not know okay. how many. All right. That's okay. Good. Good answer. I just, yeah. I'm just we do not know how many for jinn. Yeah. No one knows how many. Like, exactly. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But the, they're there. You just can't see them. They're real. Yeah. Uh, they have, they, but they, you can't see them. Mm. Okay. So, so basically, why that's Allah? Where, that's where Muhammad is. Now. Muhammad, his body died. His, Everyone. His soul ev is so basically, is, so what, what happened is, the angel of death take the soul out then the other angels who yeah. will carry the soul okay. so there's one angel of death which is responsible for take the soul and the other angel who will take the soul okay. and then they will take the soul into the vast heaven and then I'll ask Allah that where that will be go and then uh, in every every uh, uh, every sky the angel will ask who is that person because they in will yeah sky, so there's different layers yeah, yeah different levels uh, uh, seven oh. seven so, and, and seven yeah I didn't know that yeah, seven. 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 That's right. That's right. And then they will say, who will that uh, soul would be? So this is so and so. This is the son of so and so. This is the son of so and so. So the angel will explain. And then Allah will say, send back to the soul, to the body in the grave. That's and 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 Allah said, write down in Illin or Sijin, meaning Illin and Sijin is meaning somewhere. Illin is someone the soul is successful. And Sijin is oh. the meaning that soul is not successful. Okay. So basically, successful before even the judgment, that shows that God is knows about the totality of that soul, what he okay. did. And, yeah, and sure. then in the grave, that soul will be act into the body in such course, a way. God already knew. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. But so. of course, but he will not punish you until and unless he create you hujjah, evidence.
Okay. Right, and, and, and the evidence is the prophets and messenger, the, the, uh, the angels are writing the books. Uh, what everything we do, let's say I am giving you da'wah or sharing the message of Islam, angel is writing, right. angel is writing that this discussion has been taking place. Yeah. So the, everything is recorded. Yes. And then on the day of resurrection, Allah will bring back the, those records of each of us. Yeah. And then he will present to us. Okay. Right. And even some of the staunch disbelievers, they will say, oh, we don't believe those scrolls that you, you recorded for us. Then Allah, then Allah said, On that day, your seal will be, uh, your mouth will be sealed and your hand will give you testimony. Meaning that when you rejected the external evidence, you will testify against yourself. Meaning you are not sure. going run away. Sure. So look, sense, these, are the, these are the evidences Allah presented. Yeah. These are the journey will happen when we die. And... Yeah. And then day of judgment, Allah will put all our deeds in the scale. So those, uh, these sounds like funny questions, but you have a lot of answers. The, the, the soul that is taken, does it look like a, does it have, you know, it's got a hand. You say it's got a hand, it's got a mouth. So it, Okay, it, now it this, is like a, a, this is a beautiful question. Okay. There was a question has been asked that the, uh, uh, Allah mentioned in Surah Isra, Allah said, Yes, Aluna Ka'ani Ruh. People ask Prophet, what is Ruh? What is the soul? Uh, ruh, ruh, ruh means with the soul. And Prophet waited for revelation and then he said, Kuli Ruhu min Amri Rabbi. Ruh is something, the command of God. Command of God. Ruh is the command of God. And do you know what he said also? Ruh is the command of God. God, right. Command of God. Command means, he said, he made a command to give life and it become. So he gives Ruh through the command. Okay. B and it is, yeah? Kun fa yakun is. Okay, so, 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 <coughs> so, if it behaves, that's God behaving. If it misbehaves, it's because God did it wrong? No, no, no. The ruh is, ruh is a basically, it's, it's, it's a, a ruh is something uh, as a life, basically. Ruh is a life, ruh. yeah. It's, it's a it's life, a spirit, or a soul? So basically, he said, ruh, basically, it translated a soul, and he said, it's a command of God, and also said something else. Allah said, وَمَا أُوتِيتُمْ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا مَنْ كَأَ Mean, meaning we were given a very little knowledge about it. So Allah tells us that about Ruh, He given a very little knowledge about it. Meaning, if He said something you know little about it, do not make the speculation because if we make the speculation, we do not know what we are speculating because we do not know. Okay. Allah limited it through His divine wisdom. He said, mankind know, uh, it was revealed very uh, uh, restricted amount of knowledge about Ruh. But all we know, that through Allah's command, everything creates. Human comes into the creation of the heavens. Everything was created through sure. the command of God, sure. right? Sure. So, I hope answered all your questions. You know, Wait, when are you becoming Muslim? Not all of them. Ah, okay. What, 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 is, what is missing? I have a lot more questions. What's yeah, that? mainly like I have noticed, like you asked, like about jinn and uh, angels and how many. Allah said in the Quran, "Tilka ummatun qad khalat laha ma kasabat wa lakum ma kasabat." These are previous like people and previous umam. I would say umam in English, basically. Uh, very tough. Uh, yeah, like umam. let's say previous. When you people, say previous, did you mean they were made? They don't exist no, now. People, uh, it doesn't matter they exist now or not. But previous people who became who came before us. So Allah said, "Laha ma kasabat wa lakum ma kasabat." So they have what well, they well, and what so they. When you say came before us, you mean they, did they live here or no, let's somewhere say for else example, in God's let's say for example, Allah's creation? Let's somewhere. say, for example, a previous creation. For example, okay, the, someone one questions. thousand year who died, for example, whether oh, he's a so, human so here on this on this planet or yeah. in some other place in well, look, the look, universe. Basically, Allah said, "Laha ma kasabat wa lakum ma kasabat." They end what they they will end what they have, and you will end what you have. So, like these questions don't change all day. They don't impact your, uh, uh, let's say, salvation. You have uh -huh. to like. All, all we are addressing this, you know. Yeah, all this, yeah, these no, are very, and you can you can see yeah, how yeah. Islam give you those profound answer. Like I'm saying, you keep getting the answer. That's not a problem. Always. But yeah. you already tick the box. That's my understanding from the discussion that I had. All of the things the, you are asking, something very profound question about Islam, something to be learned, something to be aware of. But you already have that checklist to be a Muslim. Okay. That's why I'm saying embrace it, start worshipping Allah, 
and Allah will guide and you. Keep asking. Yeah, and keep asking. I have no, I have no problem with worship. I, 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 I submit to God. I believe in God. I, I have a lot of questions. That, to be honest, I have to keep. I have to have my questions to go. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look. And, you, and, you, I, and I'm not going to kill anybody. And I'm not going to. No, of course. You know, like, no, I mean. I'm, I, I think it's important that, yeah. we, that we, as well as. The reason why the, the reason why I'm, 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 caused by religious uh, differences. No, they should be I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why it's important. I'll tell you why it's so important. This is the biggest important topic that accepting the salvation. Why? Because it has a consequence in it. Because Allah said, whoever dies in disbelief, meaning does not. No, no. No, I, he, once the truth comes to him, and if he doesn't accept the truth, has a consequence. And unbelief, like, is there? I believe, but I believe something that's wrong, or is there a belief that I just don't believe? I don't believe in God. I don't believe. It. So, so un, this belief would be, I don't believe in God. I don't. This, so that, my truth. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Quran. I don't believe in anything. But unbelief is I'm believing something that's wrong. You see the difference? No, so like I, I, I think that, that's why. That's why. That's what. That's a very important question. That's why the judgment was belongs to God because He's completely aware what is happening in, within your chest or in your understanding. Yep, the point is, tell him. Right. So Allah knows what is your heart contains. Yeah. What level of information well, you receive, right? Yeah. Now Allah will judge accordingly based on what you know. That's why I cannot judge you because I do not know what's happening with you in your heart. Yeah. How how much information you have received? Those who does not receive information clearly in this world, Allah will test them in the day of judgment. Allah will instruct them to do something to check whether they are obedient or not. Yeah. The whole point oh. was, you know, the creation story in Islam. Again, he knows that already. It's us who doesn't know, yeah? Yeah, that's Allah why knows. Allah knows. That, and uh, Allah's name is Al Alim, who knows everything, Al right? Yeah. So, so <coughs> Allah is clearly telling you that your salvation is important. Yeah. Because end of the day, you will meet him. And you are here for a very temporal time. Now, the question is, we do not know when our death will come. Because no one is aware of the date of death which is DOD. Yeah. We all know our date of birth, but we don't know our date of death. Yeah. So, we do not know how long we'll be here in this world, right? So, the moment we realize the true concept or true understanding, we should accept it. And as a human being sincere, I would see yourself, I am keep bringing this topic, it's very important, because yeah, sure. the consequence, we have to look at the consequences. Consequences, Allah is talking about the fire, and Allah is talking about heaven. Yeah. Sure. Now, if you accept it, at least you know that you have made the testimony and ask Allah's mercy to yes. to be Allah successful. Is most merciful. He now, will, he will know now I'm all sure. all you need to do is make the belief into the reality. That's I am going to say to you. Do not just believe it through your heart and tongue. Believe it. Make the prostration to Allah. Do prayer. You will feel the connection. Oh, no, I, 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 I read the Quran every day. Yeah. I, I pray every day. Uh -huh. I, it's, it's, I have questions. But make the I declaration. Can't be dishonest <laughs> and pretend to be no, but look, when he knows but, I have questions. No, but when you already I'm, you already know the things that you needed to know for the time being. Well, look, we cannot be if scholar. You keep, if you keep talking, you're very patient. I, no, I try to be. I, I got five hours to go. Yeah, yeah Thanks, I think we, we had a lot. But I hope you know clarified all your questions. I hope we talk, I hope we, I hope we talk again. So let's, let's catch up. Are you coming next week? Uh, hopefully. Yeah, just let's, uh, five let's, hours away. So yeah, I'm down. I, yeah. It's a I mean, hour write down the questions, you know, we, we can oh. look into it. You know. Look you after man. yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Care, brother. What do you think, brother? Uh, mashallah, very good. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, let's say Allah guide him to Islam. You yeah. know, I think he's very sincere. I think it's good. Oh, he's. Oh, I think he's. She should be around. Oh, he's learned to pray. Yeah. Learned to pray. No, I think. Uh, I think um, uh, this is a, an issue that a lot of people come, uh, which is they they have sincere questions, uh -huh. but they they use those questions to procrastinate. Mm. And obviously, we don't know when we're going to die, when we're not. So we need to nah. make that. You know, we need to become Muslim, but we enter into Allah's mercy. Yeah. Because Shamdam, Shaitan comes and whisper you off. Oh, you got plenty of time. You haven't answered all the. You haven't received all the answer. Let's hope Allah guide him to Islam. Make dua, inshallah. Jazakallah khairah for your input. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Oh, wow, that's.